I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the Drone Camps channel. I'm Justin Davis, your host as always. Today is Monday, October 2nd, and we woke up again this morning to another tragedy of Vegas. There was a Jason Aldean concert, and there was a shooter up in the window of the 32nd floor across the street from the concert, and uh, there are more than 50 deaths and more than 400 injured. Um, this is just crazy that it's just happening over and over, and this seems to be one of the largest in the United States that's happened to date. This seems to be a reoccurring event that we just keep getting the largest event, um, mass shootings, over and over, and they just keep getting bigger and bigger. Uh, this guy had like 10 rifles um, stuffed up in a hotel room. So uh, I just want to... Uh, give my best out to the families that have been affected by this it's going to be across the country and uh, it's a very 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 dark and sad situation um, definitely not something that we um, like to wake up to on a monday morning to hear that um, our fellow americans have been uh, harmed or injured because of uh, such an act maybe terrorism or otherwise and uh, I don't know if there's any way that we can stop this, but we won't let them stop us from doing what we do and uh, helping others in any way we can, any shape or form. So with that said, um, as always, I'm here on the channel to help you guys, again, further your knowledge in the education of multi-rotors, drones, quadcopters, airplanes, RC cars, 3D printers, whatever type of technology I get my hands on. I will always try to help you guys. Um, now, today we have something from Full Speed, and this is the TX200. I'm super excited about this, mainly because I fly a lot of micro brushless, and so do you guys. And I've been looking for a 200 milliwatt TX that I can put on the back of my Runcam micros, or my Fox Ear micro. Uh, also, HGLRC has, has released uh, a micro cam too as well so i'm going to show you that coming up later this week um, but today we're going to talk about full speed right here and uh, i'm going to put this one on my work mat i'm going to show you a little closer some of the features of this little uh 200 milliwatt micro vtx and this is perfect for piggybacking any little micro cam so um, i'm very excited 200 milliwatt is what you want on a micro 25 milliwatt just doesn't seem to be quite enough you get to the edge of a small range and you start to get fuzzy video this is going to give you a much better signal to your goggles so let's go ahead and get started with this little micro tx 200 from full speed all right guys there it is it's called the fsd tx 200 and it's also switchable from 25 to 200 milliwatt and i'm pretty sure it comes defaulted down to 25 so you're going to have to use the little button on the side to switch it over to 200 milliwatt but that's actually pretty easy uh, if you just look on the side right here you can see that button right there once you power it up, you're going to get a series of LEDs across the bottom right here. If it shows three LEDs, you're in 25 milliwatt on the front here. And if it shows five LEDs across the bottom lit up, you're in 200 milliwatt. And that's probably what you're going to want to fly this in. Now the antenna is a little bit short, but uh, I, I think we can make this work because it's going to stick up off the top of the quad quite nicely. Now for this setup, I'm probably going to have to either punch a hole in this or just have it running out the back. That's not going to be a big deal. Uh, but, you know, this VTX is actually specifically made to piggyback on the back of the run cam here. And that's kind of nice because this is shaped so that it goes around just like this on the back. And what's extra nice is you have two bolts right here that are holding this piece of plastic on the back of the Runcam Micro Swift. Now take these two bolts off, save this piece of plastic, and you're going to use the hardware that came along with the TX200. You have some spacers in here as well. Take those screws and those spacers, put them on the outside of this piece of plastic, and you can mount this right behind it. So in the, my past setups with external, 
VTXs like this one, uh, similar to this one, I've had to kind of just cram them up against these wires back here and um, you know, hope for the best there for my connection using a piece of VHB between the two. Uh, now this is gonna be a lot neater because it's just gonna make everything flush here on the sides and be really, really nice. Now, one criticism I have about this VTX, and I talked to another reviewer about this, I was a little bit annoyed that the button is on the bottom. Uh, I think that the button should be on the top so we can access it a little easier. I mean, right up top right here. Um, and on other VTXs, it works like that. But I think since we have a hole here, that they couldn't put it on the top. Um, and it looks like this side over here is just full of chips on this side. So it might have been a design challenge for the engineer to be able to pull that off. But the button is gonna have to be changed uh, with something small to get in there, maybe like a end of a screwdriver or something or a wood stick so you don't short things out. And this VTX is 2.7 grams, so you're really not gonna add a lot of weight to your brushless micro. That's not gonna be a big deal. It's actually lighter than some of the other external micro VTXs that I have. Um, so this one's gonna be nice. It has uh, what we're looking for, 200 milliwatt. And uh, this little connection point back here, you're gonna want to take maybe some hot glue or some kind of, uh, maybe some liquid tape and just put over top of this connection. Once you have it seated on there, go ahead and add a little bit of something on there to make this not pop off, because it will come off quite easily. If you do have a crash, it'll pop off. Now what's cool for new guys is the fact that you have your video five volt and your ground wire right here already on a plug that's gonna be compatible with your Runcam Micro. So you just plug it in just like that. Make sure that the pins are actually facing up to go into just like that and then you have power to your camera coming from your quad. Now I just put a little connection on here really quickly to show you guys. Uh, I have a little 2S battery here. I'm just gonna plug in and show you how the LEDs work. So now you can see that it's powered up and if I want to change it to 200 milliwatt, this is what I'm gonna do. Now you can see right now I have one LED light if I just press it once, it's changing the channels. If I long press it like two seconds, it's going to change the bands. See, I'm going across there with the red light, and it's changing bands if I long press it. Now, if I really long press it up to three seconds, one, two, three, you're going to see it light up all the way across. And now I'm in 200 milliwatt, and then it goes back to the original red LED on my channel there. So pretty cool. Now I'm in... 200 milliwatt. Now it does say in the manual that this one's powered from 6 to 17 volts, so that means that you're going to have to have something uh, 6 volts and above. I have a 7.4 volt battery here, um, so you're going to have to, to probably power this off of your battery connection on your micro brushless. Um, it says it can handle up to 5S battery, but I definitely, uh, like other people are saying, I wouldn't run this off of 5S. You might you might end up pushing it too much. But time will tell if I power this one off of the battery terminal and uh, hopefully this has enough power that I don't get much feedback uh, and, and too much interference into my video feed from the power system. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and this should work quite well with the Runcam Micro or the Foxier Micro Cam uh, or even that new HGLRC camera I was telling you about that's in this all-in-one kit. Coming up this week, it's the XJB F428 with a TX20 in here. 200 right here, ready to go. And uh, I'll try to put a link down below for this TX200. This is what we are looking for for brushless micro. So I'm super excited about that. And uh, also guys, before I let you go, be sure to check out BQE. They are out of Brooklyn, New York. And uh, this is my BQE megapixel that I'm building with this particular setup right here. So I'm gonna put some 1105s or 1106s on here. And it already came with a mount that's set up for my run cam. This mounts right here like this. And then this piece goes over top of the run cam and the VTX, pretty sweet setup there. So like I said, that antenna is probably actually just gonna make it out the back of this. So I'm not gonna cut this at all. That looks pretty nice there. 
Very nice setup. So super excited about this setup and this new quad build. Uh, stay tuned on the channel, you guys. And please do subscribe for more multi-rotor videos. Thanks again for hanging out. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you guys on the next one.